Hey everyone, welcome to McKellar Motivational Monday. I'm Danica McKellar and every week, hopefully, um, I just like to get on with you guys and just talk about something that's going to help us to have a better week, a better day, maybe a better month, maybe a better life. Really, it's about being the best versions of ourselves and all the things that we need reminders of sometimes because it's so easy to get caught up in all the negativity and everything that's going on. Hey, Kelly from Arkansas, Chris from Australia. Aland from Peru, and I have lots of makeup on, and my hair is all done because I've been shooting Matchmaker Mysteries up here in Canada, so I don't usually do all this, but we got a little more to shoot still. Really excited. Matchmaker Mysteries comes out in April, so thank you, Mark. Thank you, everyone, for all your sweet comments. Hey, Elizabeth from Pennsylvania, Deborah from New Orleans. The mini munch says hello. Francisca, is that your child? That's so cute. You need motivation to, to do your homework. Okay, so uh when so here's here's my we yes, you watched last week. All right, so there is a phrase that I learned. It's a very simple phrase, and I actually learned it. My dad taught me from a Dale Carnegie class that he took years ago. When I was 17 years old, I got the opportunity to speak in front of the United Nations about the state of the environment. They said, We want we want someone from the up and coming generation to talk about our environment, why it's so important. I was so nervous. I was like, what? <laughs> and my dad said, look, so first of all, of course, you prepare, you write your speech and everything. And they said, before you get on stage, say this over and over and over again. Let me at them. Let me at them. And I can't be like, let me at them. It's got to be like, let me at them. Like L-E-M-M-E, let me at them. Let me out. I'm like like you're a, like you're a, a horse at the gates, just waiting to get out. And this works. It works if there's something you're nervous about, especially if there's something you 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 know either it's public speaking or you have a job interview or you have you need to talk to somebody. You're not sure how it's going to go or what anything you're feeling apprehensive about at all. Think to yourself, let me at him. Let me at him. Let me at him, and really repeat it over and over again. And I have talked about this before, but it's been a while. So I wanted to remind you because all the stuff I'm talking about, there's no like huge breakthroughs. These are all reminders. We live in a society that tells us we need outside things to be happy. We need outside things to be okay. And that's because we live in a capitalist world, which is fine. Money makes the world go round. But that means we need to buy products. And then in order to buy products, in order to get us to buy products, companies will say, well, you need this product to be happy. So we feel very dependent on outside things. Um, but I would submit to you that we can, there are tools that we can, reminders we can give ourselves. And this is one of them, where you can become a little more autonomous. You can be a little more in control of your own life. Your dad told you about Dale Carnegie too, Sarah. Yeah, a lot of great, great nuggets of information, a lot of great, a lot of pieces of wisdom. So let me add them. This is a phrase that has helped me time and time again, whether it's an audition or public speaking. Sometimes I do. And I mean, I'm pretty comfortable on stage speaking now, but every now and then, for whatever reason, I get butterflies and I'm really nervous. Well, let me add them. If you're going to go on stage, if you're going to talk, like I said, if you're going to talk to somebody and you're concerned about how the conversation is going to go, anytime you need a little extra jolt of courage and motivation, well, let me add them. Now, why does this work? And by the way, I think this also would work not just for things that you're afraid of, but also things that you're reluctant to do. Somebody asked me about homework, you know, homework or exercising. I think it would also work. Let me at them. Let me at them. And, and why? Why let me at them? Um, because, you know, we, we have a dialogue in our head that's running all the time. And we can choose to write that script. We can choose to, to alter the words that we hear in our heads. Here's the thing. Human beings, our brains, here's why it works. Our brains will believe whatever it hears if it hears it enough. Think about that. Our brains as human beings will believe what it hears if it hears it often enough. If it's repeated enough times, your brain will start to believe it on some level and then it will believe it more and more and more. Like I was mentioning advertisements before. Advertisements certainly use this philosophy. If it tells you that this is the best brand of soap, if you hear that enough times, even if you're hearing it from the same source, but especially if you're hearing it from multiple sources, you will start to believe it. 
Yes, Nike has a similar phrase, just do it. But that's a little different because just do it is telling you what to do. Let me Adam is like me, that's me. Like, like I just can't wait. Not let me Adam. Let me Adam. Yes, let me Adam, PM for Bears. So if commercials can use this against us, if the news can use this against us. If whatever source of repeatedly telling us something over and over and over and over again does get us to believe it, let's take it in our own hands. So let me at him. I can't wait to exercise. But not just that. Let me at him. Let me at him. If you keep repeating that I'm telling you something, you guys are going to get results. You will find, you will feel more motivated. It's amazing how we can trick ourselves if we really want to. There's another really great exercise called the I'm so excited exercise. So if you, really want something. And typically this is something that you could have some input maybe to getting, maybe there's some job you really want, um, some really great opportunity that you want to pursue. Then you write down, I'm so excited that I have whatever, whatever it is. I'm so excited. Like I used this when I was first writing, working on my latest book that comes out next year, my latest math book. I just wasn't feeling inspired yet and I needed to feel inspired. So I wrote, I'm so excited that I've been so inspired and I love how my book is coming along. And then you read that out loud and then you have to like jump up and down, like really feel the excitement. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, my book is going so well. I feel so inspired and it's really like coming along. And I only had to do that once a day for like a week before I actually was inspired. <laughs> and it really works. That stuff works. So speaking of work, I have a lot of lines to memorize for tomorrow. So I'm not, I can't stand for too long, but I just, I'll do some more shout outs, but I'm telling you something, let me at him, let me at him. First, you have to decide what's the thing that you want that you're not doing or the thing that you're afraid of and you're, and you are afraid to face it and you need to face it. And then when you're thinking about that thing or right before that moment's going to happen, let me at him. You know, there's a, um, I heard that if you have like a, a Coke machine, a Coke dispenser, uh, vending machine, um, just one in a, in a room, say in a garage, whatever, that you can actually increase its success by putting another one next to it from a different brand. And here's the reason, because the brain no longer thinks, do I want Coca-Cola or not? It says, which soft drink do I want? Which is interesting. They've done studies about this, which is why two businesses next to each other tend to do better, even if they're in competition, than if there were just one. It's so, the brain is so interesting. And when we start to understand it better, we can use it to our advantage. Being committed to learning in college. Yeah, this is just, you know, it's just a trick and it works and it's simple and it's short. Oh, the mini munch is your dog. I talked to her in a cameo. <laughs> That's amazing. Thanks, guys. So anyway, I'm going to go memorize my lines now. It's been so much fun hanging out with you. And I really, oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Nisha. Let me at him, let me at him. Because no longer, oh, here's the point I was trying to make. No longer is it a, should I do this or not? It's more like, when can I start? Because I really want to do it. Just like the two Coke machines or the two soda machines. The question isn't, do I want, do I want soda or not? Or am I going to, am I going to get to my math homework or not? It's, it's making an assumption that that's going to happen. It's tr changing, changing the questions you're asking yourself. It's, well, when am I going to do this? Because let's, let's get to it already. Well, let me add them. And you can do that for exercise or anything else. So I'm going to go let me add them to memorizing. I've got like a lot of pages of, <laughs> of um, lines to learn. So I'm going to go do that. But I couldn't resist coming on and sharing that with you guys because it's one of my favorite tricks and I've used it so many times throughout my life. It was just my dad's birthday um, last week and so when I was talking to him, I brought it up. I was like, you know, I gotta tell you, I use this all the time. A whole bunch of us were on and I was like, let's all pick something that my dad has inspired us in and that was the thing that I used and so I've been thinking about it. Yes, face your fears, Hector, absolutely. So a quick few shout outs before I get off. Um, I see the new messages here for some reason. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Yes, happy birthday to my dad. He's a great guy. Let me add him from New Jersey, Jen Boy. Very cool, Terry. Hello, Jose from Costa Rica. 
You're going to go let me at him from Corpus Christi, Texas, Jesse. Nice. Oh, cool. From the Philip Accurate from the Philippines. Let me at him, you guys. Let me at him. Remember that the next time you're afraid of doing something, you're feeling fear, or if you just need some extra motivation, but especially if you're feeling, feeling fearful, let me at him. And you're a horse at the gates. You just can't wait to get out and really tell yourself that. Your brain will believe it. Your brain will believe it. Let me at him. Okay. I love you all. Thank you so much. If you're interested in the movie that I'm making right now, Matchmaker Mysteries, it will be on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries in April. And you can follow Matchmaker Mysteries on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Twitter, I think, is Match Mysteries, but, every, but Facebook and Instagram is Matchmaker Mysteries. And we're very close to having 5,000 followers on Instagram. It's very exciting. So maybe you'll be the 5,000th um, follower. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> Thanks, Stephen. All right, much love. Bye.